and welcome back to my channel. Haven't seen you guys for a long time. Today, let's make a lunch bag together, and the material I'm gonna use is recycled denim. Everything that we need has been listed in the video. For the fabric that we pick, it needs to be durable, like heavy denim or upholstery fabric. Could hold lunch box better. For the first step, I cut a paper bag, which I saved from the other than takeout, into paper patterns. And it's basically just rectangles. So if you don't have paper bag, don't worry about it. I'll put all the measurements on the screen so you can just copy it. I also drew some notches, which will be helpful for sewing later. And then I realized the only notches that I really need is just the back corner area. I'll also mark it on a screen so you will see it easily. And then I'm starting prepping the materials that I'm gonna use for making the bag. Since I only have some denim scraps, well actually there are denim straps at home, so I just cut them into small pieces and then stitch them back together into a big rectangle piece. You might notice that I'm sewing it wrong side together, which is not a mistake. I tried to add some fun texture to the surface of my lunch bag. So add those raw edges that you see at outside. I'm pulling out some strings and it will create a raw finish, like a fringe effect. After all the material gets ready, we can start cutting. So I just put a paper pattern on the top of the denim and cut it off. So if you followed my drawing on the screen, the seam allowance has already been added there. But if you made your own pattern, don't forget to add seam allowance so we have some area to sew. I use a piece of chalk to mark notches on the big piece and then use clips to clip both pieces together which will be easier for sewing. So for the notches that we put on the big piece, it will match the corner of the small piece. Yes, I know it will be a little bit hard to sew that corner, but I know you can do it. Ooh, it's been sewed. Okay, next, you see I have half inch seam allowance right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut half of it. So I will only leave a quarter inch seam allowance there. And then I will flip over along the seam outside. I will put a 1 8 inch top stitch or around. The reason I'm doing this is because this is denim and I don't think one single stitch will be strong enough to secure it. So I choose to use some kind of um, French seam finish to secure it and also the look will be better outside. The next is I put my lunchbox in the bag and roll the opening like how I will usually do. So I use a chalk to mark those place and I'm gonna add a button and elastic so it could be closed. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like it and hope it's helpful. Um, if you would like to watch more craft or I'm also planning to make clothes, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions, just leave in the comment box. I will try to reply as much as possible. Thank you. See you next time.